the sixth uh, national task force and I really must appreciate uh, the teams on the ground, partners and Cassandra District Local Government. Although things are beginning to take shape slowly, but at least they are on the right track. And I want to encourage parents not to shun schools. They should allow their children to go to school and complete the term. Effort is being put in place to ensure that we have infection prevention and control materials for them to use. Temperature should be taken on a daily basis. The children should be encouraged to wash hands at all times and the lavatories should be disinfected. But also we want the parents to understand that when their child is sick, they should not send the child to school. And any child who misses school should be reported to uh, the authorities so that we can follow up. To date, we have uh, 129 cumulative confirmed cases, out of which 33 uh, succumbed. And we have uh, about 52 undergoing treatment and 47 recoveries. The majority of the cases currently are coming from Kassanda uh, because the people in Mubende have since understood and they have been reporting on a frequent basis and contact follow-up is at 100%. In Kassanda, we still have people running away from one village to another. Uh, we had the case of uh, a body being exhumed where we got a huge cluster of people getting infected. That means the district of Kassanda still needs a lot of risk communication for them to understand that you don't run away when you have Ebola because you will run with it and die with it. You need to stay put and get help as soon as possible. But most importantly, we have heard today that the largest group of people that are affected are actually the youth, meaning it is the youth who are not listening to whatever information is being passed on to them. So I want to appeal to the youth. Everybody is at risk of getting Ebola. The youth, through the various activities, playing pool, watching films, you know, interacting in the evenings, and I want to believe it was the youth that exhumed the body. So the youth, please take care of yourselves. Ebola can infect you and you can lose your life. Listen to what the health workers and the risk communicators are telling you and adhere accordingly. The earlier you report, the better the chances of survival.